name is Larry Kilroy. I'm the Information Systems Director for the Healthy Building Network. Uh, and what brings me here today is uh, we have been uh, working for a number of years to bring uh, health into the conversation when it comes to green buildings. Uh, my particular interest is in the data uh, that needs to be aggregated in order for architecture and design professionals to make better decisions about their materials. The topic of my talk was the challenges of the supply chain and getting data from the supply chain about the health impacts of building materials. I, I thought one of the really interesting insights for me was hearing, um, it seemed to be a general uh, theme on the councils that, or on the panels I should say, um, that in this industry right now professionals lead the innovation and the academy is following versus others where the academy leads the information and the professionals follow up. Uh, I think that's very important because uh, what we've set up is a system where there is an opportunity for the leading professionals to create their own home-baked systems uh, and that will in be problematic for the academy to have to deal with various systems. They'll have to choose which systems they'll be, you know, systems that work at cross purposes. So it's very important to understand that the professionals are leading the academy, but then the professionals have a responsibility to work to pass down to the academy something they can teach that is clear and concise. There, there's really, I think, three issues facing data. Um, the first is that uh, in many cases uh, there are large amounts of data that have never been categorized and therefore uh, it's a, a big barrier to starting to work with the data is understanding what that data is speaking to and how it applies to building materials today. The second issue is a lot of this data is proprietary. Um, so starting to build a, so, sort of a generic database as, to use as a baseline that will encourage uh, the release of some of that proprietary data. And I think the third big issue then is for the consumers of the data. To make it simple for the consumers of the data to be able to interpret the data and give them the tools to interpret the data rather than you know, wading through this giant sea of numbers that uh, isn't as clear as it could be with a little bit of assessment applied over the top of it. I think uh, one of the th exciting things for us for LEAD v4 is that um, in the past, it has been up to the kind of innovative architects firms and innovative individuals to really push the envelope on this issue and the health issue. Uh, Lead v4 finally gives the incentive for them to be able to push that campaign and that demand for data down the supply chain. So uh, I think that is, for us, that's one of the most exciting things is having that lever that we can apply now to encourage participation from those who might not be innovators in their own, uh, but, but do uh, want to stay ahead of the marketplace on health and building materials. Mm -hmm.